For the next story, Jean-Paul and I are traveling to Sweden, a country that is potentially very cold and worse, potentially very boring. Would you like to tell our friends, Jean-Paul, why are we traveling to Sweden? I don't know. Okay, I'll tell them we're going to Sweden because it seems that lately the Swedish people have been doing some very strange things with their poo-poo. Yes, uh, poo-poo. No, Jean-Paul, will you tell our friends what strange things the Swedish have been doing with their poo-poo? I don't think so. I don't want to. Is it my imagination, Jean-Paul, or are you acting like a little baby? Look, Antoine, you know very well why I am like this. Because I want to drive the car. You always are the driver. It is not fun for me. Because Jean-Paul, as I have explained many times, I am the star of the show. I get the girls and the cars, you get the giraffes. But if it will make you happy, here we go. Ah, thank you, Antoine. Baby. You know, it's not even a real car. It's not like really driving anything. It's so stupid. Eurotrash went to Sweden to meet their number one new export, Stacker Bow, the hottest Swedish band since Army of Lovers. They filmed their biggest hit video in a toilet, a place dear to Swedish hearts and bottoms. When we asked Stacker Bow to illustrate the Swedish obsession with all things lavatorial, they took us on a whistle-stop tour of Stockholm. First stop was trendy restaurant Rolf's Cock, which started an unusual trend in public toilets. The toilet here has two seats, side by side, a great place for making new friends. Well, I would say the Swedish attitude to toilets are pretty loose, loose mm -hmm. down, what you say. I mean, we often meet in here, all of us, and, you know, just take your crap together and talk about a little bit about this and that, and, you know, whilst the British uh, attitude is a bit more uptight, I must say. Tafatida means doing time and is a restaurant decorated to look like a prison. If you don't know the code to the toilet, you can't get in. Or for that matter, out. Freedom! Est 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 won the award for best toilet in Stockholm. Both male and female toilets have something for you to look at on the ceiling to help while away the time. A telly. Come on. What's going on? If you think TV in the toilet is a crap idea, how about Sweden's new generation of eco-friendly, bleach-free blue paper? It's great for the environment, but rough on the bum, and goes by the ominous name of double crap. You have to be a masochist to use this paper, actually. Stackerbo told us if we really wanted to understand Sweden's toilet obsession, we would have to travel out into the wilds of the north. These happy hunters in Langor are coming in from the cold. But where can they all be going? Yes, you've guessed it, to another communal toilet. This one can accommodate up to eight people at one sitting. No loo roll here in the Arctic Circle, only newspaper. And once they've done what they came for, they tip lime down the hatch and head back out into the cold. Come on, lads, it's back to work. Up north, a traditional scene. Hunters on the trail of moose. But it's not the moose themselves that the hunters seek. It's moose droppings. Horst Kuna makes a living out of this moose poo. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of money laying on the ground. I can come back in May and pick it up. And perhaps I can send some over to England too. <laughs> Give me a call. Horst started selling the droppings from his tourist office for people who wanted a souvenir of the real Sweden. It sold so well that he quickly decided to diversify and racked his brain to come up with new moose poop products. He designed a range of jewellery featuring these earrings and these delightful tie clips. Now his moose waste products net him about £6,000 a year and he seems to have started a real craze with people sending him crap from all over the world. There are rabbit pellets from Holland, elephant dung from Africa, and in pride of place, a turd from a genuine German hunter encased in a glass jar. 
So I'm inviting all English people to send me all kinds of shit. Thank you. <laughs>